Well, I made it to the Dollar Tree to do the uh, bug out bag. The bug out bag. I'm gonna put things in containers. And there you go. Here's all your options. Let's put things in the containers. You know, stuff like that. They can stack easily in your bag. Make things a little bit easier. So, you know, dollar store is a place to go. Have all the places to put things in the containers. In your bug out bag. You want to do as much as you can. Put stuff into Ziplocs. This way it kind of keeps them waterproof. You can use the bag for water, whatever you need to put stuff in. So you got your choice here of all the different kinds, different sizes. So you can definitely use some Ziplocs and some large trash bags. Especially these right here, the lawn and leaf, they're thicker. You can use them underneath your sleeping bag. You can use a sleeping bag, like a sleeping bag or a poncho. So a couple of these in your bug out bag. Can't go wrong with that. Let's keep looking. Flashlight. There you go. Gotta have one in every bag. For a dollar. As I say, go in. Along with extra batteries. Get your extra batteries, whatever you need. For that flashlight or flashlight you find. And data. Gotta have a few of those. One in every bag. For a buck, pick them up. Signal mirror. Hey, for a dollar. You got something to help you, so just signal. These are good to put things on. This way you don't lose them. For a buck, throw them in. Alright, for the bug out bag stuff. Don't have a fixed blade knife. Here you go. Royal Norfolk Cutlery. You got your orange right here. This way you can drop it most likely find it and then you've got yourself a knife stainless steel of course made in China but this knife is better than no knife and then they have a larger version right here so for a dollar you got yourself a knife good for the bug out bag different kinds of knives for the bug out bag here's your aluminum foil you can put your bug out bag, you can take it all out, flatten it up, put it into a square, and you've got foil to cook on. Let's keep looking for the bug out bag. Sharpening stone for your knife. For a dollar, throw it in. Rain poncho. For a dollar, fill up every bug out bag with one of them. It might not last long, but they'll get you through at least one bad rainstorm, and then you can use the bag for something else. But for a buck, pick them up. Candles. Being your fire kit definitely help you. Plus, give you some light for a buck. Goes in the bug out bag. Emergency candles. Definitely want to throw those in there for a dollar. You know, better than the birthday candles that I showed you, but these will definitely help you. Fire, light, wax for put over a you know emergency cut. So yeah, for a buck they go in. Lighter for the bug out bag. These are good because you can reach in. Definitely throw them in for a buck. Glow sticks. Definitely need glow sticks for the bug out bag. Give you a boost of light. This way you don't lose each other. You got plenty to pick from. Yes, they're not military grade, but they will get the job done. So pick up a couple of them or a bunch and stick them in the bug out bag. Toilet paper. Get them, squish them down because you don't want to be using leaves or pine cones. Put them in the bug out bag. Tissues for the bug out bag. Not only good for your nose, but good for your behind too. You know, besides having toilet paper, can use these. I'd double up if I were you, but still. Yeah. Or you can get the eight pack. Yeah. Something that's good for the bug out bag. And also for the bug out bag. Don't take these whole bottles of whatever you need for. Get the trash.
travel box. Perfect for the bug out bag. Bug out bag, you know, you want to have Q-tips. You want to have, you know, nail, file, scissor, toenail clippers, fingernail clippers. Oh, focus, there we go. Uh, so yeah, that definitely goes in the bug out bag. Along with some Q-tips. Or you can get one of these. Three-in-one cotton ball set. That looks pretty good. So yeah, perfect for the bug out bag. I got to mention earplugs. If you're in a kind of safe spot where you, you don't have guard and people need to sleep, in the bug out bag. Free bug out bag. Hand chamois. Holds more than five times its weight in liquid. It's also good for the first aid kit. But definitely for the bug out bag. Use it as a towel. Use it as a sweat rag. It's a chamois. So, yep, let's throw that in the bug out bag. Bug out bag. Throw in a couple of leaves. Clean your gear. Clean everything you can. And you got 10 of them. A couple of them should be good for your bug out bag. Definitely good for cleaning up your gear. Let's keep looking. Baby oil. Great for many things. Also, to help you get a fire going. Spray, you know, spray some of this on some wet wood. It's going to assist you. Now, as we were talking about the Ziploc bags, make sure that this goes into a Ziploc bag because they, they do leak. But this might even be better. Baby oil gel. Good for personal hygiene and all the other stuff that you imagine baby oil goes with. <laughs> and great for fire starter. So we'll throw that in the bug out bag. Baby wipes. Definitely go in the bug out bag. Personal hygiene, everything else. Keep your hands clean, your body clean. You do the baby wipe, you know, the PTA or PBA for guys. So we'll definitely throw those in the bug out bag. For your regular medical kit, baby diapers. They do what they're meant to do. They soak up liquid and bad things. So if you've got a really bad emergency, Put a diaper over or under, soak up blood. There you go. So definitely, for a dollar, you pick, you get five of them, and stick them in your household medical kit. Towel wipes and hand sanitizer, antibacterial wipes in the bug out bag. Bug out bag. There you go. Water bottle better than nothing and you can't cook in it but if you're doing a dollar store bug out bag build there you go all right for your bug out bag you hook this to the top of the inside of your bug out bag this way you can see what you're doing you don't have to look for a flashlight you know it's always there can't go wrong with that see what else we have right here earbuds in the bug out bag trying to listen to the news, the radio, find out information, you don't want to be heard or if people are sleeping, get some earbuds. Carabiners for your bug out bag. There you go, you get two of them. They're not climbing. Carabiners, but you can help with your tent set up, your poncho set up, your tarp set up, whatever. These can give you, you know, some extra ways of hooking things up. So throw those in the bug out bag. Steel wire, great for numerous things. You know, snares, hanging stuff, getting stuff ready for whatever. Trip wires, same thing with bungee cords. You know, these two definitely go inside the bug out bag, along with zip ties. Can't go wrong with zip ties. You got all kinds of bungee, different sizes. Another good thing to have in the bug out bag, utility knife. You get all those razor blades right there. The uses are endless. You know, besides being a knife, you cut cordage, you know, skin, an animal, good to have. Same thing, pliers. 
If you don't have a Leatherman, this is the way to go. You spend a dollar, you get a dedicated set of pliers to help you do things, and you're good to go. Handsaw. For a dollar, can't beat it. This can help you cut wood, process your firewood. For a buck, it goes in the bug out bag. And then we have over here, gloves. Of course, you gotta get the cool camouflage ones. But, definitely wanna throw some gloves for handling firewood, for handling anything. For a dollar, Dollar Tree, you get the, the gloves. And then of course, super glue. A gazillion uses for super glue. You know, besides medical, anything you need, super glue. And duct tape. You throw duct tape in the bug out bag. What you can do is you squish it down, flatten it, and this way you have more room, and this way maybe you can get a couple of them in there. Because, you know, at the dollar store you don't get much, but it's enough that can help you. This is 10 yards. You can get the pretty colored ones if you really wanted to. <laughs> but, yeah, we got duct tape. And I also throw in electrical tape. Almost as good as duct tape. So, for a buck, it goes in the bug out bag. And we've got rope for a dollar 50 feet goes in the bug out bag plus you know it's kind of that paper rope you can help you set a fire so it goes in the bug out bag and then these are pretty good mini scrapers mini razor blades that can help you do things uh, if you want you can get them in there all right here we go Disposable filter masks. Definitely want these when you bug out that. You know, you've got smoke or you know, some kind of non chemical agent that you, know, you need a gas mask for. Dirt, dust, or at least in the bug out bag. Drop cloth. This can be your tarp, this can be your ground cloth. You can do all kinds of things. So for a dollar, poncho. It goes in the bug out bag. All right, let's see what else we can find. We got those picture frames, sponges. No, nope. we'll keep looking. Be back in a minute. Magnifying glass. Help you set a fire. Set a fire. Good for map reading. So for a buck, throw it in the bug out bag. journal something to write your thoughts on map directions regular directions people's names whatever just to get your mind right definitely throw one of these now, if you're building a bug out bag for kids you definitely want to get them some crayons and some coloring books and maybe another regular book so they can read and then maybe yourself Get one of these, keep your mind. Because you're going to be bored sitting there. You're not going to have the internet or anything else. So get yourself something. And if you like to color, color. For a buck, it goes in the bag. And for the bug out bag, we have your first aid kit items. Things that you need to figure out for what you need for you and your family. Get what you need for yourself and your family, along with vitamins, whatever else you need. And then, of course, for food, we've got two bars, we've got Stacker 2 Energy pills to give you energy for walking. You can get the energy shots for what you need, you know, the extra strength energy shots because you're going to need stuff because you're going to be walking long distances. So you definitely want to have these in your bag. The same thing with you know, ice chat. So, yep, 
medical section. This is where you need to do what you need to do for yourself and your family. There you go, trail food. Definitely for the bear got bag. Got all kinds of crackers and goodies and tropical mixes. So you get what you like for the few in the bug out bags. That's where you got the food. You got some Slim Jims. You got some nuts, you know, sweet and salty mixes. So definitely throw some of these in your bug out bag. You got some candy for the kids' bug out bags. They're having a really bad day because the world's falling apart. Definitely want to put some candy in there. You know, don't give them the whole bag. You give them, you know, you dole them out. That's why you can save it. But yeah, definitely a good idea for bug out bags for kids or yourself too. You know, nice quick pick. You know, have a piece of candy. Okay, these are good for the bug out bag. There's those powdered mixes. You got Hawaiian Punch, Wilers, Crush, you know, Singles. And the sugar-free ones. You get the regular ones, I'd go for the sugar because you're going to need it. The same thing with these. These little juice packs are strawberry milk, juicy juice, new booze. You know, definitely go in the bug out bag. And of course, Propel or Gatorade. But, you know, you're going to need some kind of fluids, especially Gatorades or clean waters. So, you know, you get a couple of those for the bug out bag. Prune juice if you really need it. <laughs> Here we go, some tin food for your bug out bag. You got pink salmon, you got the yeah, those <laughs> mussels, tuna. These are good because they're lighter. You got the pink salmon. And you get a nice little meal out of that. So you can pick up a couple of these. Tin of mussels or you know, sardines. So these definitely go in the bug out bag. And you also have, of course, ramen. Definitely good for the bug out bag. Throw them in there. If you get a couple of spices for your bug out bag for your food, you know, nothing worse than a, just a bland squirrel, you know. Get something that you like, you know, pepper, salt, and a couple of little tiny things, and you mix them in the little medicine bottles. And then you got some cookie snacks for you and the kids. And then you stick a couple of these in the bug out bag. Keeps everybody happy, plus with some food. You know, you can also, you know, the Nature Valley, the peanuts, raisins, definitely good energy food right there. You got you know, apple sauces, little mini chips, you know, whatever your family likes, throw a few of them in there. So your family's got some snacks and a little boost of energy. 